Hello, cheese fans. Today we're going to look at Aldi's vegan cheese selection. Now this was available for Christmas, maybe it's discounted out there now, and I'm going to decide if it was worth it or not. Now you get four cheeses in this package, and I think it was quite expensive at the time. Um, what the hell? Box fall into pieces. Um, I've tried two of the cheeses, just to start off with. The basic cheeses. Actually, I've not tried that one. Somebody else has tried that. So that's the first one we'll try. We've got the cranberry. We've got the standard mature cheddar. We've got the smoked cheddar. And finally, we have the blue cheese. Can you even see that? It's like in a triangle. Bloody sunlight. Get them away for sunlight. What the hell is that all about? I told, I told them the sunlight was coming in. Who believed it? Um, right. Let's chop up the cheese and we'll see with the uh, crap berry. What is this? What do you... oh, it just says cranberry, it doesn't even say. Um, I can't remember which one goes with cranberry. I know that I don't like it, so we'll find out if I still don't like this cheese. We'll put it on a cracker, the ultimate test there. There we go. Well, you know, it's, it's a Wensleydale type cheese with um, cranberry. If you like that, you might like this. I don't, I, I don't really know. The last time I ate crap berry cheese was a while ago. But to me, I'm not really that bothered about it. A fav favorably two and a half out of five. Let's try the blue cheese. Now, this is my favorite. No. Blue cheeses. Is this going to be my favourite? Quite difficult to get into. I recommend a pair of snippers to sort that out. Alright. For this one, I'm just going to try the cheese by itself because I'm quite the connoisseur. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, it's good got a tang to it. This tastes exactly like the cheese that Tesco introduced and then Morrison's introduced and then they both in turn took it out of production. So I'm, it's probably the same producer. I mean they taste on the same kind of level of all of the cheeses that have been already out in Tesco and Morrison's and elsewhere. Just the standard cheese. Now this is a Christmas party pack. So, on a level of party pack cheeses, I'd expect something of a higher standard. We're not talking about honestly brie, the finest vegan brie you'll ever find, 5 out of 5 experience. You know, we don't need to go that high for Aldi's. But Aldi have a reputation of copying cheeses, you know, and um, producing some pretty high quality stuff. And this, to me, being Christmas, and with the price it is, indicates it's of that higher standard. But it's bog standard, really. I mean, that's blue cheese. It is good. If that was a cheap cheese, as in if, if it was like, like two quid, like it was when it first started off, two twenty-five, I think it was. Um, then it would easily be. Well, this one tastes doesn't taste quite as good. Maybe it's my mind's changed. But three and a half, but four out of five experience. I'd call it a four out of five experience by itself. Cranberry, two and a half out of five. I mean, we can try the smoked cheese. Let's try the smoked and the mature cheddar. I'm not even going to try them on crackers. I'm not going to waste crackers on these things. This is the mature cheddar. You know, it's alright. It's bog standard. It tastes like cheddar. But it's not as good as a proper mature cheddar. You know, there's a lot better mature cheddars out there on the market, vegan cheddars. If you're going to treat somebody, some guests, to some the finest vegan cheeses at Christmas, then this was not really the choice. I mean, the smoked cheddar, yes it comes in a circular shape, but it's still a kind of cheap end, kind of um, vegan cheddar. Both of them, I think probably two and a half out of five experiences. So overall, 
this pack probably is two and a half out of five. Maybe it's a three out of five if I'm being generous. But I just don't think it's worth it for Christmas. If you're gonna um, treat your vegan friends, I wouldn't pick that. I'd pick this or one of the other one of the other artisan cheeses. There's many of them. That's not worth worthwhile spending your money on this nonsense, to be quite honest. Um, so three out of five. That's as good as I'm gonna get. Assuming it's on discount, I'd probably buy it. But if the discount means it's the same price as your bog standard cheese, then just buy your, your favourite bog standard cheese, vegan cheese, and you'll be happy. Anyway, that's it. You know, I ain't got a lot positive to say about that selection. Blue cheese is the only one that's worthwhile for me out of that whole pack. The rest of them I've eaten quite a bit of and they've not grown on me. Anyway, I think I've made my thoughts clear. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. If you enjoy your cheese, then pick yourself up a discount if it's whatever, you know. But I've got better cheeses.